Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start to seal this agent up. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put the valve covers on it. We're going to do that by setting this gasket down in place and kind of setting the valve cover on top of it. And then we'll actually use our bolts to start lining the gasket up. Once I get these kind of started, I'll just make sure I get a couple of bolts in it. Um, I know that these bolts go towards the back and the outside of the engine because this is where our clips go that hold our spark plug wires in place. Then I know that these go in the back here and on the side here. So I know that these bolts right here, they have the little clip on them, and I know that that's what holds the spark plug wire loom in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on the outside and towards the front because the distributor sits right here and our spark plug wires are going to work back like that. And we're going to set these off in where they belong. Then I'll go ahead and take the other side and do the same thing. And just set it up there. And then I can start putting my bolts in. And then we'll look up the torque specifications for this and we'll torque these down. I'm going to go ahead and put a few more components on while we're here. So the next thing that I'm going to put on is going to be the front cover. Now this front cover gasket comes down here and comes to a stop right here at these ends. Um, and this end right here, the oil pan, rides right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of silicone. So just a little bit of silicone. You don't need very much. We're just going to put just a little bit right here along this bottom on both sides. We're just going to put just a little bit along this bottom on both sides. It doesn't take a lot, it's just a little bit. This silicone is something that you don't really want to use a lot of because it will get into your engine components and it will start to cause you some very significant problems. I'm going to set this down in here and let that silicone hold the bottom of it just a little bit. And then I'm going to use these bolts to hold the top in place. Now, I know that my water pump bolts to right here, so I don't need to worry about those bolts right now. However, I do need to get this thing pushed down in there just a touch. Okay, now we're going to put these other bolts in here. And I am 
just going to snug these up. Now these bolts on this side don't quite fit perfectly, but the reason is, is because there's another piece that goes in here. However, I am going to paint this engine and then put that other piece in place. And it'll be painted a different color, so I'll be able to see it a little better when I set the timing on this truck. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to carefully turn this engine over. Now the weight has changed fairly dramatically since we started with this engine because now it has the heads and the valve covers and all of that other stuff on it. And so now the top is going to be heavier than the bottom than it used to be the other way around. We're going to carefully bring that up, put our pin in here. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of silicone, and again I'm going to put it right in here between where the front cover and the oil pan, or the block meet, and the oil pan set. So I'm just going to put a little bit right in here on both sides and I am going to actually leave these bolts on this just a little bit loose so that this will set right even like it's supposed to. Now this should keep me from having any oil leaks right here. This is one of the spots on these engines that tend to have a little bit of oil leaks and I I'm not a very big fan of oil leaks. So now we're going to put the oil pan gasket on it. Actually, I'm going to wipe this engine down just a little bit where this gasket sits. Doesn't hurt these gaskets to have just a touch of oil on them, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down. And then we're going to take this gasket, set it on here, and we will make sure and work these corners right here where the main caps go. We're going to work them into the corners and make sure that this all sets down. And then we're going to take our oil pan and we're going to set it on here. We'll get our oil pan bolts. Now these bolts, there are two different bolts that go in the oil pan. And they're different because they're different sizes. The big ones are the first one away from the caps on each corner. And then the smaller bolts go everywhere else. So I'm going to just wipe these a little bit. We'll put them in place. start in the corners get them started and then we're actually going to just snug these down and then I will go and get the torque specifications and we will torque all of this stuff at the same time so I'm just going to run these corners down again, and I'm just going to snug this up, and I'm going to start in the corners because I feel like it pushes the gasket into where it belongs a little better. I am not going to tighten these down, I'm just going to snug them, and I will come back in just a few minutes and torque them down. 
Now we're going to start with the corner ones. We're going to leave it just a little loose in case it needs to move just a little bit while we put the rest of our bolts in. Now I'll come back and I'll snug them all down and then we will come back and torque this down. We'll torque the, all three of these things that we just put on. We'll just work our way around this. Now since I had somebody else do this engine block, the freeze plugs are already in it, or expansion plugs are already in it. And typically if I build up my own engine, I will not put those plugs in until after I've painted the block because I kind of like the, the contrast of them. However, this one's all going to get painted at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to come around and snug these down now that I've got everything in place. I'm also going to snug these front cover bolts because they need to make the seal right here where all three of these things make the connection. So I'm going to snug them down. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to torque it. Now the oil pan torque specification is 11 foot pounds. So we're going to bring this up to 11. And we're going to torque the oil pan bolts. And I'm going to start again with these larger ones. And then I'm just going to work my way along, starting from the middle, and work my way to the outside. So the front cover bolts are 18 foot pounds. Now we're going to spin this engine back over. bolts right here I'm not going to be able to get a torque wrench to. So what I'm going to have to do is get creative in how I torque them. The valve covers are 13. So we're going to set our torque wrench to 13. And we will have to get a deep socket to torque those. And again, I'm going to start in the middle. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put this intake manifold on. Now this manifold has gaskets that go against the head, and then it has some separate gaskets, cork gaskets, that go down here in the bottom. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit of silicone and we're going to put it down right here in the corners. Just a little bit, it doesn't take a lot. We're just going to put just a little bit right in the corners. This is where these things kind of have a tendency to try and leak. And so we're just going to put just a little bit of silicone in there to try and avoid that. Now, these gaskets are exactly the same. They, if you hold them up right next to each other, they look exactly the same. Now, on the gasket right here, it says head side. So that means that that 
goes towards the head. And we're going to set these in here. Now the head gaskets have been designed so that they kind of hold this gasket in place. We're going to set this down and like I said these head gaskets have a little tab on them to hold these manifold gaskets in place. Then we are going to set these cork gaskets in place and there's a little tab so anyways we're going to set those tabs together and then we're going to take a little more silicone and we're going to put it up here on the top side of this where these gaskets go. Now my silicone is trying to be done here. So we're just going to put a little bit, once again we're just going to put it just in the corners. We don't need silicone anywhere else. These are machined surfaces which means that they are flat and all it takes is a little bit of a gasket to keep them in place. This front one seems like it is going to be a challenge to keep in place. And so I'm going to just put a tad more silicone in the corners right here than I do everywhere else. And then, we're going to take our intake manifold. We're going to very carefully set it down in here in place. And we're going to watch our gaskets as we do this. Make sure that our gaskets set where they are supposed to set. And that one, like I said, is being a bit of a nuisance. And it looks like we've got it fairly well right there. Now, this bolts for this manifold has a lot of different types of bolts. It has a regular hex bolt. And it has a shoulder bolt. And it has another shoulder bolt. And those need to go back where they came from. So these are the three different type of bolts that came out of this intake manifold. So when I took this apart, I took a picture. And so I can go back in to my pictures on my phone and I know where things go. So I know from looking at my picture that these two long shoulder bolts go right here. And I know that these other shoulder bolts go in the corners. And I know that the rest of these take regular bolts. And the reason I know that is because I took a picture of it. Now, I am going to
go ahead and torque this down. So I'm going to get my torque wrench and we will torque this down to 25 foot pounds. So we're going to set our torque wrench to 25. which is right there and just like when we were torquing down the cylinder heads we're going to start in the middle and work our way out so once we get all of these manifold bolts torqued down then I am going to go through and clean everything up. I'm going to put plugs in the um, in all of the stuff that's still open. We're going to clean this engine up and get it ready for paint. 